Hey guys, Swana here and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a tour and travel website with WordPress. If you're wondering, we do not know any sort of coding languages like JavaScript, HTML5 and so on and so forth. How do we create this sort of website? Well, like I mentioned earlier, we are going to create this website with WordPress. If you're wondering what is WordPress, well, WordPress is a script that allow you to create a website without knowing any single line of code or any sort of coding languages. You will create this website with drag and drop editor. Just add any element into your website and your website is ready. On this website, your customer can book any property that you have listed on your website for rent on specific time and date that you have provided for your specific property. For example, you have provided the availability date for the specific property like this property is available for only for one week or two week, only one day or only for whole night. Then your customer can book that specific property on that specific time and date given by the admin of the website or the property owner. And there are so many other features that you can add inside your property. For example, you can add different types of facilities like you can add Wi-Fi, a parking lodge, gym, so on and so forth. So watch this video till the end and learn how to create tour and travel website. Once you learn it, you can do few things like you can create the same sort of website for your client and charge them or you can do freelancing on Upwork or Fiverr or other platform out there and make money. Okay, before we start building this website, don't forget to hit the like button guys. That would be appreciated and you can subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And let's get started and let's start building our tour and travel website. All right, to create any website, whether it's travel booking website or e-commerce website or blog or any sort of website, there are two required things, uh, which is domain name and web hosting. If you're totally beginner to web development and don't know anything about domain name and web hosting, well, domain name is simply going to be a website name and web hosting is a place where all your website files will be stored. It's just like a computer where you store your files like media, photo, images, all the stuff you store in there. In the same way, you store all your website file in that web hosting. So there are many web hosting companies out there over the internet but handful of them are the best. So in the video description, I'll provide you a list of the best web hosting companies. You can go ahead and pick one of them. But in this video, we are going to get a web hosting and domain name from GoDaddy. To get your web hosting and domain name, come over here and type this URL, runnersvfx slash gd, which stands for GoDaddy. And press enter and it will take you to this web page. And this is a GoDaddy website. And here you will see different types of plans, starter, economy, deluxe and ultimate. However, if you go with the starter plan, neither you get domain name nor you get a SSL certificate. And if you're wondering what is SSL certificate, well, SSL certificate stands for the secure socket layer, which secure the connection between your website and the user. If your website has SSL certificate, then the visitor of your website will gain the trust on your website. If you go with the economy plan, you can see you will get the 100 GB storage and professional email. If you go with the deluxe plan, you can see you will get the unlimited storage, unlimited website, and the unlimited subdomains. However, if you want to expand the more functionality of your hosting, you can go with the ultimate plan. But if you are just getting started, you can go with the economy plan. Let's go ahead, click on add to cart. In the next page, you will see this message. If you buy the economy plan, good news, you got a free domain name with this order. Let's type your domain name really quick over here. Once you type your domain, click on submit. There you go. You can see your domain is available and the cost is zero rupees. Click on select and continue. So this is the cart page and here you can see we have the billing cycle 36 month or you can go to this drop down menu and choose how many months you want this web hosting to run. Let's go with 12 month which is completely fine for me. And next you can see we are getting the professional email plan as well for one year. And these are the recommended services that GoDaddy provide you. If you want to buy the web security, you can click on the get it now. It will be add to your cart, but I'm going to skip it. Scroll down and you can see you are getting a free domain name for one year as well, which is great. So rest of things are completely fine over here. Let's click on I'm ready to pay. If you want a more discount, you can check out the description box of this video and you may find a promo code 
down below the video description. Once you get your promo code, all you have to do, just delete the promo code and add the new one and you will get more discount out of your web hosting. Once you finish with your cart page, click on I'm ready to pay. So before we proceed to the checkout page, if you're new to GoDaddy, you can create your account. You can use Facebook, Google or email to sign up. If you already have account with GoDaddy, you can click on sign in. So I'm going to click on continue with Google. All right. Once you sign up on GoDaddy using your Google account or any social media, then you will land on the checkout page. Here, you have to fill in the billing information. Let's scroll down a little bit and fill this form. So I'm going to quickly fill this form. Once you do it, click on save. All right. Now you have to choose the payment method. I'm from India. I'll go with UPI. If you live in other country, you can select your preferred payment method. So I'm going to fill in my virtual payment address and click on review order. Once you do it, click on complete purchase and you have to pay this amount. Okay. Once you complete your payment, you will see this button right here. Go to my account, click on it and proceed further. If you do not know where is my account tab, you can simply go to your profile, this drop down button, and then you can click on my product. Let's scroll down. Now click on manage all alongside web hosting. Now click on this drop down button and click on setup. So now you have to select your domain. I'm going to select this domain that we just bought with this plan. So here you have to select your data center. I'm going to select Asia. Now click on yes, let's do it. Type your WordPress username and create your password and type your password once again and then click on next. So here you can create a branded email ID which look more professional and then click on finish. So this process can take few minutes. Updating domain, applying things, onboarding completed successfully. Now click on go to the dashboard. So I'm going to click on no, I don't want to participate and then click on confirm. So guys, we have successfully installed a WordPress. To access your WordPress dashboard, simply click on admin. Scroll down and click on use default WordPress. And then click on yes, I'm sure. And then click on no thanks, I just want to exit. All right, so this is the dashboard of WordPress. And if you notice that I've changed my domain name for some reason, but don't worry, process will be the same. You can stick with your own domain. I just wanted to show you guys how you can buy a web hosting and domain name. So that's why I record the previous part separately. But right now, let's look at the further process, how you can build your website. And one more thing, whether you're using local website or the original live website, this WordPress script will be the same. If you're still wondering what is WordPress, what we have installed on our web hosting, WordPress is a script that allow you to create website without having a knowledge of complicated coding. The time I'm recording this video, almost every blogger, e-commerce website owner or any sort of website are running WordPress. Anyways, let's focus on building our website. First thing first, whenever you install a WordPress first time, you have to clean your WordPress. When I say clean, that means you have to remove all the unwanted plugins and unwanted themes if you have one. If you're wondering what is plugin and what is the theme, well the plugin add the extra functionality to your WordPress website. You will find out what I mean by that once we proceed further. And next, if you're wondering what is theme, well theme is kind of design of your website. It will change the entire look of your website. For example, if you visit your website right away, you will see this is the default look of your WordPress website. Here to start and here's end. And this is the one post which is hello world. And this is kind of boring, right? There is nothing over here. And we are going to build our tour and travel booking website from the scratch. Okay, let's close this out and let's clean up the unwanted plugin if they have one. Have your mouse over plugin and click on installed plugins. Let's see, is there any unwanted plugin? No, there is no unwanted plugin. If you see any unwanted plugin, remove them. Okay, check this box or you will see somewhere delete button. Okay, next, let's have your mouse over appearance and click on themes. And here you can see we have these three unwanted themes. We will not use these themes to build our tour and travel website. First of all, let's delete them. Select the theme and you will see the delete button. Click delete, click okay and delete this one as well. And you cannot delete this one. 
because there is only one theme left. When you install a new theme, then you can remove this theme. Anyways, let's move to the next part of this video. Let's go to the dashboard and we are going to change the WordPress essential settings. To do it, hover your mouse over settings and click on general. And here you can see the site title, which is right here. You can change it from here. The tagline, you can add the tagline of your website. For example, I'm going to type something like expert in travel and tour in Goa. Below, you will see the WordPress address, which is completely fine for me. Make sure site address and WordPress address should be the same. And below, you will see the administrator email address. Make sure you type your original administrator email. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using the local website. So that's why you see this. Anyways, next we have the membership. You can check this box if you want others to register on your website. The new user default role should be what? Subscriber, contributor, author, editor, administrator. Subscriber is completely fine for me. Site language, English. Good. Time zone. I'm from India. I'm going to select my time zone. Plus 5.30. Where it is. There you go. And the date format and time format. You can choose from here. I'm happy with these settings. Week starts on Monday. In India, we go with Monday. Okay, let's click on save changes. Once you finish with the general tab. Let's look at the writing tab. Here you will see the default post category. Uncategorize or if you have created the categories of your post, you can select from here. Okay, you do not have to choose the category every time you add a new post on your website. Next, we have the default post format standard or the other one. Let's go with standard and you don't have to do anything over here. If you make any changes on this tab, don't forget to click on save changes. Next, click on reading. In the reading tab, we have the your homepage display. If you have multiple pages and you want to change other page to be your homepage, you can select the static page and go to this homepage drop down menu and select your page. But right now, this is a fresh installation. We don't have pages. So I'll stick with your latest post. Blog pages show at the most 10. You can increase or decrease this number according to your preferences. It's all about your personal choice, guys. Once you finish with your changes, don't forget to click on save changes. Let's go to discussion. In the discussion settings, we have the default post setting. You can read these lines and if you like the feature, you can keep it checked. Otherwise, you can uncheck it. Okay. So I personally like to use these settings. User must be registered and logged in to comment. If this is unchecked, then there is most likely a chance to get spam on your website. The rest of things are good here. You don't have to change anything. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on the save changes in the very bottom. Next, we have the media. Thumbnail size. You can increase or decrease the number from here. Width and height. Okay. Crop thumbnail to exact dimension, which is fine. Next, we have the medium size and large size. These numbers depends on the theme that you are choose. But right now, we are using the 2023 theme, which is the default, and we will not use this theme. So I'm going to keep it as it is. You can change these sizes if the thumbnail sizes are not, not fit for your theme design. Okay, so remember these settings. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on Save Changes to keep your changes saved. Next, we have the permalinks. This is very important, guys. So keep an eye on the settings. Why important? Because it relates to the SEO. If you're wondering what the heck is SEO, well, SEO means the search engine optimization. If your website SEO is good, then your website has more chance to rank on the first page of Google or any other search engines out there. There are many factors comes in when we talk about the SEO of website, but this is a not SEO tutorial. If you want SEO tutorial, just drop your comment in the comment section below and I'll create a SEO tutorial separately for you guys. Anyways, here make sure you select the post name. If there is a plain text like here, make sure you change it to post name and then click on save changes. So that's why I'm telling you guys, this is very important settings. Next, we have the privacy. In the privacy, we have two tabs, settings and policy guide. You can read the introduction if you want. It's about the privacy policy guide for WordPress under the settings tab, you have to select the privacy policy of your website. This is the dummy privacy policy, which is selected by default. But in your case, you have to create a new one. It's very simple. Click on the create button 
and you will land on the next page where you have to create your own privacy policy page type the title title will be title will be privacy policy in the description type your entire text which contains your privacy policy if you do not know what to type in the privacy policy you can copy my privacy policy for e-commerce website you will find the link in the video description once you create your privacy policy come back to this page go to privacy and select your own original privacy policy page and click on use this page and there you go this is how you use the privacy policy for your website one more thing you can do when it comes to create a privacy policy for travel and tour website you can search other similar website and read their privacy policy and see how they write their own privacy policy you can copy and paste their privacy policy or you can mix five or seven website privacy policy into one single privacy policy and create your own and that way you have your own privacy policy page so with that we are done with this step let's go to the dashboard and move to the next part of this video and in this part we are going to add a theme into a website in this part we are going to give a brand new look to a website by installing a plugin to do it let's have your mouse or plugin and then click on add new and click on upload plugin and here we have to upload a premium plugin and these plugins are free one and we're not going to use it because all of these plugins comes with different types of functionality but in this video we are using a special and pro plugin so that our website look exactly like what you've seen in the beginning of this video so right now i'm going to leave it as it is let's open a new tab and type this url and press enter and you will land on this website crocoblock.com and here you will find the ultimate toolkit for building website with wordpress to get your plugin so on this website a view mouse over solution and click on the vacation rental directory all right so this is the website that we are going to build in this video to create exact same website we have to buy a plan of crocoblock to do it you simply have to click on the buy now button and the subscription pop-up will appear and you will see four types of subscription the green one is the per year subscription and the yellow one will be lifetime subscription but there are three difference between all these packages first is the website how many website you can create how many years you will get the product update and how many years of zoom and chat support you will get so i highly recommend you to go for at least all exclusive unlimited because i already have this subscription i'm not gonna buy this subscription once again but i like to show you how you can buy it simply click on the checkout button and it will take you to the checkout page so on the checkout page you have to fill in the personal information like email full name and your phone number and you have to accept the privacy policy and terms and agreement by checking this box and click on the next step so on this page you can pay the amount via paypal or the credit card it's all up to you once you complete your payment you will have your package since i already have the plan i'm going to log in let's close this out click away click on account so as you can see i have the subscription so right now i'm inside the customer tab scroll down here you will see this crocoblock wizard go ahead download the plugin i already downloaded it let's go back to your website and drag and drop your plugin over here this is my plugin drag and drop and click on install now and then click on activate plugin in the next step click on let's go and here you have to type your license key let's go back to proco block account and here you will see view details click on it and you will get your license key double click copy come back to this page and paste the license key and then click on get started and now you will see two option full proco block installation jet plugin installation select the first one click install now choose a theme to use with proco block i'll go with kava click install i'm going to use the child theme which is recommended because it's safest way to make further modification let's click on continue now wait for a few second it will install a theme all right so here you will see two tabs dynamic template and design template make sure you in the dynamic template now scroll down and search for belly rento hover your mouse over belly rento and click on start installation 
next page you will see the required plugins make sure all the plugins are selected and then click on continue wait for the process it may take some time so i'm gonna speed the video up and i'll come back once it's done a few moments later okay in the next page you will see this option demo content import here you will see two options so i'm gonna choose the second option replace my existing content with the demo content once you do it click on continue so in the next page you will see this option importing sample data so here you have to type your wordpress dashboard password once you do it click on confirm and the importing process will be start so this process still may take some time so i'm gonna speed the video up and i'll come back once it's done a few moments later okay so importing process has finished let's click on continue now it's regenerating the thumbnails so again this process may take few minutes so i'm gonna speed the video up and i'll come back once it's done a few moments later all right guys now you will see this message right here congratulations you are all set that means you successfully installed this plugin and of course everything that comes with this plugin like theme and all the stuff now you have three options you can look at your website or you can edit your website right away or you can go to the dashboard let's go to crocoblock dashboard and here first thing first you have to update the database of each plugin so i'm gonna speed the video up all right once you've done it we are good here and you may see this type of error message just because of ssl certificate like i mentioned earlier this is a local website if you're buying a hosting that comes with ssl certificate then you won't see this type of error message however if you don't have ssl certificate don't worry i can fix that problem very easily by installing a free ssl certificate for 15 years which is way more than enough if you're just getting started and of course installing a ssl certificate will be free i already created a separate video for you guys you can go to the description box of this video and install your free ssl certificate if you don't have one and you can see wordpress recommending us to install ssl certificate because it will keep the customer data secure like i mentioned in the beginning of this video so you must have the ssl certificate if you're running an e-commerce website travel and tour website is kind of e-commerce website where the visitor come to your website and pay for their booking whether you are selling a service or the physical product your website known as a e-commerce website now let's look at your website have your mouse over here click on visit your site in a new tab and you will see the brand new look of your website there you go you can see we got our website keep scrolling down we have imported everything that you have seen in the demo website now all we have to do just change few settings of our website according to our preferences and then we will then we will customize our website and that's it pretty much it let's move to the next step and let's look at some settings of our website but before that let's close these tabs and let's go to the dashboard okay let's move to the next step now let's look at the woocommerce plugin settings how you mouse over woocommerce and then click on settings and here you will see several tabs the general tab we have the store address fill your store address really quick india manja next we have the selling location sell to all countries shipping location ship to all countries you sell to actually this is doesn't really matter because we are not shipping any kind of physical product so you can disable the shipping and shipping regulation default customer location shop country and region scroll down you can enable taxes if you want if you like to charge tax rate from your customer then you can enable tax rate scroll down and below you will see a coupons you can enable coupons code you can provide your customer a special discount via coupon code if you want to enable this you can do it so i'm going to uncheck it next we have the currency option here you will see the currency united states if you live in other country for example i'm from india i'll go with indian rupees currency position left fine test of things are good here let's click on save changes when you make any changes always click on save changes so as you can see we unable the text rate so we see this text tab open that so here you will see we have the additional text class so in this tab just come here additional text classes here you will see reduce rate and zero rate so in india we deal with gst gst 18 if your country deal with 
different types of text class you can type in over here just always come to the next line and type your text class if there is VAT type VAT so I'm from India and I plan to run my website in only in India so I type GST because we deal with GST so rest of the things I'll delete I only keep GST 18 okay and rest of the things are good here and then click on save changes once you click on save changes you will see GST only here click on that under the text option here just click on insert row first type your country code IN then for India state code post code city leave it as it is and rate 18 percent and shipping uncheck it and then click on save changes so under the products tab you can see we have the shop page which is right here good next we have the add to cart behavior redirect to cart page after a successful addition make sure do not check this if you check this option your customer won't have option to add multiple items into their cart page so i'll leave it unchecked below you will see several other options like placeholder images you can increase or decrease the number of these next we have the weight unit and dimension since this is a travel and tour website so we are not selling physical product or shipping any kind of physical product so this doesn't make any sense leave it as it is don't worry about this you can enable reviews which is very important finally click on save changes if you make any changes we're going to take a look at the payments tab later on let's look at account and privacy and in here make sure you check this option allow customer to log in into existing account during checkout allow customer to create an account during checkout allow customer to create an account on my account page and uncheck these two options and scroll down and click on save changes that's pretty much it let's go to email so guys here make sure first two emails should be your as you can see this is my local website so this is you know, sample or dummy email if you want to change your email you can click on manage and in here make sure this option is enabled and you can change your recipient email from here type your real email and like so this is my real email if you want to contact me you can contact me over here scroll down click on save changes if you make any changes let's click over here to go back so as you can see we just changed the email let's look at the integration tab you don't have to do anything over here let's go to advanced and in the advanced tab we have the page setup we have the cart page we have the checkout page we have the my account page and terms and condition page these three pages are absolutely correct as you can see and we don't have the terms and condition page you have to create a new one by going to the pages click on add new and from there type the title terms and condition in the description type your terms and condition full description and click on publish your page will be published once you do it come back to this page and select your terms and condition page by typing the title of your terms and condition page okay and that page will be appear select from here and you're good to go next we have the score checkout if you unable this option it will force your website to open with https that means ssl certificate if your website does not have ssl certificate then your website will be crash so make sure you always have SSL certificate on your website. If you still don't know how to install SSL certificate and your hosting package does not include SSL certificate, then you can watch my other video and install a free SSL certificate for your website. So right now, this is my local website. So I won't enable this option because this also does not make any sense to enable this option on this local website. Next, we have the uh, checkout endpoints you can see these are the labels that you can change if you want by default these are the good one so i'm gonna leave it as it is account and points again these are the labels you can change it if you want once you make any changes click on save changes lastly we have the jet woo builder if you look at here here you can see we have these several different types of option for jet woo builder you don't have to do anything inside in this tab because these are the settings that uh, relates to different types of functionality in this video we are dealing with a travel and tour website so you don't have to do anything with this tab finally it's time to look at the payments tab so we are going to set up a payment gateway payments tab you will see payment method right now we have the direct bank transfer check payment and cash on delivery cash on delivery is enabled by default so i'm going to disable it because i don't really like to accept cash on delivery and click on save changes so there are different types of payment gateway out there that you can enable on your website for example stripe razor pay pay you upi 
PayPal. So in this video, I'll show you how to enable PayPal payment gateway, which is the international payment gateway to receive real payment from real customer. But all you have to do, just create an account on PayPal. Once you have it, then log into your PayPal Then you are ready to set up your payment gateway on your WooCommerce plugin. In order to enable PayPal on your website, you have to install a separate plugin. To install that plugin, hover your mouse over plugins and then click on add new and come over here and search for PayPal. And here you will see different types of PayPal plugins, but we are interested in this one, uh, WooCommerce PayPal payments by WooCommerce. Click on install now and then click on activate. All right, so you can see plugin has been activated successfully and you will also see this button right here connect your account with paypal so we're not using this method we'll manually connect our paypal with woocommerce plugin to do it let's go back to your woocommerce settings then go to payments and now you will see this option paypal let's click on finish setup and here scroll down and click on toggle to manual credential input and you will see these option sandbox which is test mode to testing out the payments for example if you want to test out your checkout page before go live you can enable this option but in this video we will look at how to set up paypal without sandbox so that you can receive real payments from real customer to do it all you have to do just go to paypal login into your account so as you can see i've successfully logged in into my paypal account and if you look at here you can see we need a live email address merchant id client id and secret key okay first of all let's type your live email address and we need a live merchant id to get that come to your home page of your paypal hover your mouse over your profile name and then click on account settings and in here go to business information and you will see your merchant id over here just copy it come back here and paste your merchant id and we need live client id and secret key to get that come back to your paypal and go to home and click on business tools and come over here and search for api and you will see api credential Click on that, click on get started and you will see live API credential, client ID and secret. But here don't copy this information. Just click on my apps and credential and click on apps and credential. So now you need to create an app. If you look at here, these are the apps that I've created from a different website. But right now we are inside the sandbox mode. Let's go to live. So now we are inside the live mode or you can say the apps and credentials. And these are the apps that I've created for my different types of website. Let's create a new one, type your app name and then click on create app. And now you can see we have the PayPal account, client ID and secret key. So let's copy the client ID, copy, come back here and paste it over here. Come back to PayPal, show the secret key and copy your secret key and paste it over here and then click on save changes. All right, so you are successfully unable your PayPal payment gateway. You can go back here and enable your PayPal and click on save changes. One more time, let's look at your PayPal by clicking on the manage button and let's see. So everything is configured successfully. Our PayPal is enabled. If you look at the connections tab, you can see the PayPal is connected successfully. Let's go to standards tab. In the standards tab, you can see we have the title, description, intent and various other settings that you can tweak according to your preferences it's self-explanatory i don't want to waste your time to show you things which is already self-explanatory guys so we are good here and we're done with the woocommerce settings let's go back to the dashboard all right so let's move to the next step of this video in this step we are going to look at some important settings after that we will look at how to customize our website properly so there are a few settings like there is a property you will see this option right here and the icon as well and here you can see we have the properties and payments and meals and property type and these are the settings that you can change before you publish your website and next you will see if you scroll down if you hover your mouse over here jet engine and you will see the listing and we have the post type settings and few other settings that you don't need to worry about I'll show you only important settings that you need to that you need to look at first. Okay, so first of all, hover your mouse over properties and click on all properties. And here you will see all the properties that listed over here. For example, if you are creating a travel and tour website for only specific area, for example, Goa, then you are only listing the properties comes under the Goa. Okay, so all you have to do just select all of them 
and go to this drop down menu and click on move to trash and all these properties will be uh, removed from your website once it removed you can add your own property by clicking on the add new button let me show you how you can add that click on add new property and here just type the title of your property for example i'm going to type simple home you can type the description about this property and next we have the settings under the settings you can add this under hard deal or let's say no you here you have to type the specific address of this property where it is located where does it locate here you have to type the correct location of this property type the room how many rooms there baths guest bed type size check in check out time and video url if you have one of your location you can type in over here this could be youtube video url next we have the gallery upload the gallery images by clicking on the images go to media library or you can upload your own for example let's add these gallery images choose media next we have the facility you can add different types of facility that you provide in your property wi-fi gym car parking 24 doctor if you don't want to show some of these a facility you can remove them i'll show you how to remove these facilities and you can add a new one if you want scroll down or basically you can customize these post type according to your preferences if you don't want to include the video url you can remove this meta field or basically these are the meta fields that has been created by default you can customize this entire post type according to your preference and if you don't want uh, these uh, facilities to show you can remove them as well or you can add a new one if you want i'll show you how to do it in a moment but first let's look at the other settings here you don't have to change anything you can add the title summary title summary text whatever you like okay play around with these settings and come to the right side go to properties and here you will see we have the payment you can add the payment tag over here if you want you can add a meal tag for example breakfast and lunch breakfast included whatever you want to show in this property scroll down property type this is a house i'll show you how to create property type and i'll show you how to create the meals type that you provide on your properties next to the featured image you can select the featured image you can upload your own featured image if you have one there you go once you do it don't forget to click on publish your property will be published okay so go ahead click on publish click on publish once again and let's see your click on view post and see your property all right so this is the property that we just added eight bedroom three bath 16 guests and this is the description and the detail and so on and so forth that we have added these are the facilities that we have added and the availability date you can add the availability date over here and here you can add the map if you want next we have the terms and rule timing check in check out you can add the timing rule if you want but in our case we didn't add any check in and check out time next we have the cancel and prepayment rules and terms you can add your own if you want we have the no age limit if you want to allow the pets you can do that as well but right now here you can see pets are not allowed card accepted you can change this if you want visa or mastercard only allowed you can add more or you can less more okay it's all up to you here you can add the language so each and everything that you can add over here let's go back to the dashboard so guys this is how you add the property let's go to the property type so in here you can see we have the default properties type added over here you can delete them by clicking on the delete button or you can delete all of them by checking this box go to drop down menu and select delete and click apply and all the property type will be deleted but right now i'm not going to do it if you want to add new property type you can come over here and type the property type name for home and then click on add new tag you can add the thumbnail if you want you can add a color if you want simple home has been added to the property type so let's look at the meals tag so basically these are the tags that you can add inside your property these are the meals all exclusive or breakfast and dinner breakfast and lunch breakfast included self catering different types of meal tags that you can add inside your property if you want to remove them similarly you have to check this option go to drop down menu select to delete click apply and all these meal tags will be deleted if you want a new one you come over here and type your meal only click on add new tag and this meal has been added next we have the payment in the payment here you can see you can add different types of payment tag that you can accept for this property for example american express mastercard paypal and so on and so forth if you don't accept any of them all you have to do just delete them or you can add a new one 
for example UPI in India we also use UPI so I'm gonna add UPI click on add new tag and the tag has been added so this is how you add the payments tag and meal and property types tag now let's move to the listing Hover your mouse over jet engine and go to listing and you can see these are the listing that has been added by the admin as you know these are the dummy listing all you have to do just delete all of them before you go live or you publish your real tour and travel website once you delete them add your own listing real listing and then go live after that just say for the demonstration purposes i'm not gonna delete them i'll show you how to add a new property by clicking on the add new button and from there you can add your property but let's look at the one of this listing by clicking on the edit button and here you can see this listing is created via elementor plugin let's go back or you can click on the edit listing settings and here you can see we have the listing source post from post or property type listing item name you can type the listing item name uh, listing view elementor or you can go with the blocks which the glutenberg uh, default comes with the wordpress so don't need to confuse go ahead click on the edit with elementor it will take you to the elementor page builder this is the drag and drop editor where you can edit your listing so this is the listing click on it change the content you can change the title you can change the listing icon each and everything but this is not a right time to show you the customization let's close this out decide later let's go back to the dashboard now it's time to show you guys how you can create or edit your post type for example if i open the one of the property and scroll down and here you can see we have the uh, facilities we have the galleries we have the checkout check-in and video url and so on and so forth if you want to change this a property this post type and how you're going to do it well let's go back to the dashboard have your mouse over jet engine and click on post type and here you will see that we have this post type created by default you can delete this one if you want or you can create your own but right now for this uh, website this is a perfect post type has been created all you have to do just edit this click on the edit button and here you will see there are several types of uh, tabs here that you can expand them or you can tweak their functionality if you want but you don't have to go to the journals or labels or advanced just go straight to the meta fields and here you will see all the options that you have seen for example let me open one of the property so that you can understand better so here you can see all these post type meta fields that you see over here you can edit them by going to the jet engine and post type and here you can see we have all these meta fields if you go inside the facilities and here you can see we have the label name or id and the object type and the field type which is checkboxes as you can see these are the checkboxes and these are the radio button and there are different types of field type that you can change from here and below under this facility we have these type of new field options that has been added by default if you want to delete one of them or any of them simply click on the delete button that facility will be deleted from your entire website okay and if you want to add a new facility you can click on add new field option and the option value type the name of your facility cricket match copy all and option label will be the same cricket match and make sure click on update post type it will keep your changes saved as you can see let's come back to this post and refresh it and you will see the cricket match over here under the facility now scroll down and you can see we got this cricket match facility add it inside this property if you want you can uncheck it it's all up to you so this is how you add the meta field or remove the meta field from your post type okay so that's simple here you can see we have the popular filter each and everything you can create from here okay so there are so many features and settings that you can tweak off crock block plugin for example there is jet form builder smart filter jet pop-up you can create your pop-ups and booking and so on and so forth if i go through these functionality one by one then this will be a longer video i don't want to waste your time i plan to create a separate video for each functions and functionalities so that you can understand better this croco block plugin so like i mentioned in the beginning of this video i'll be covering only those features that are required to create this travel and tour website so that's why i'm covering only those features 
if still i'm missing something don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section below and i'll create a separate video for you guys anyways we are done with these settings and now let's look at the customization but before that let's go to the dashboard and let's move to the next step all right guys so now let's move to the next step in this step we're going to look at how to customize this website to the travel website hover your mouse over here and click on visit site right click open link in a new tab so this is the website that we are going to customize as you know this is the home page of this website to customize this website all you have to do just click on edit with elementor because this home page is designed with the elementor plugin if you do not know what is Elementor, Elementor is a drag and drop editor that allow you to create website pages seamlessly just by dragging and dropping elements into your pages and you have your web page ready to publish. So this is the Elementor plugin. In the left hand side you will see all the elements and features and functionalities that you can add to create your web page in the right side you will see the navigator window this will show all the elements that you have added inside your web page so like i mentioned earlier this web page is designed with the element or page builder so this is pretty straightforward plugin and here you can see first we have the section one and when you click on the section one this entire section is highlighted you can see if you expand this you can see inside this section we have the column when you select the column in the left hand side you will see the editing option of this column if you select the whole section you will see the section settings okay so basically whatever you select from your navigator you will see the settings of that selection in the left hand side let's select the column and now you can see we have the layout style and advanced tab in the layout tab we have this column width column order vertical alignment and so on in style you can see we have the background we can add the background image you can add a color whatever you like and in the advanced you can see we have the margin and padding basically you can increase and decrease the margin or padding of your column and we have the other options like jet advanced and dynamic visibility jet tricks and these are the advanced settings that you don't have to worry about them because in this page they did not have used these features to create a simple design but these are the features there if any case you need to use them you can use them okay if you expand the column you can see we have the heading which is right here your adventure and travel and tour expert expert in bali you can change this title if you want Let's change this title. Come over here and type your title. So as you can see, I've changed the heading. Let's click on the inner section. Inside the section, you can see we have different types of layouts. If you expand this, you can see we have the column. You can see we have the four types of column. In the first column, you can see we have this section right here. Let's expand that. Here you can see the icon. We have the icon listing. This is the icon. Inside the icon listing, you can see we have the house types of housing selected and the section filter you can see we have the uh, types of housing here that you have created you don't have to change anything over here guys because this is already set up website just i'm showing you this because you should be familiar with the elementor plugin how they have added these functions inside this home page okay if any case you need to change this you can change it from here so that's why i'm showing you this function okay if you want to change the background image you can do that as well expand that go to entire section go to style and here you can see you have the background image you can click on choose image and click on upload file and you can upload the file from here or you can go to another website which is pixabay and from here you can select the image that you like or you can upload your own captured image if you have one if you have the location image you can add it oh and here i'll search for mountain let's download this image click on free download png click on download the image has been downloaded let's drag and drop this image over here and then click on the insert media once the upload finish now click on insert media there you go now all I need to do is change the color of this font, color of this heading font, select the heading, go to style, go to text color and let's change the color, whatever color you like. Okay, so I like this color and we are good here. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on update. Now scroll down, you can change this heading as well. If you click over here, you can 
highlight the heading and start typing your own and inside this column you can see we have the listing which is right here you can select the listing from here which is already selected main listing next we have the button right here this is the button if you want to increase or decrease this listing number you can always come to the listing grade and here you can see the post number eight you can decrease it to seven you can see okay you can increase it or decrease it from here and a few other settings that you can change just read them and if you want that feature to be enabled enable it otherwise you can leave it as it is okay but i think this design is completely fine for you guys you don't have to change anything just tweak few things and you are good to go let's scroll down and you can see we have the another section popular types of houses like villa house cottage bungalow and these are the dummy property types as you know you can delete them by going to the property types then delete them and add your own and when you add your own property type then they will be appear over here okay inside these property type you can see there are five villas over here inside the cottage the five villa over here as well in the house and the four villa in the villas and next scroll down you can see we have the top offers you can change them if you want you can change the heading you can change the listing grade style how many columns you want two or maybe three four it's all up to you guys two is fine for me and these are the listing that has been selected from here you don't have to change anything just change the listing from your listing settings by going to the jet engine and listing and all the listing will be updated from here okay and these are the buttons if you want to change the button button link you can select the button and change the button link from here and then click on update if you make any changes so in the similar way you can literally change anything from here if you want to add more section you can click on this plus icon and you can select the structure and add your own design in the similar way or you can do one thing you can copy the entire section by right clicking and click on the duplicate the this whole section will be duplicated as you can see you can delete any section by clicking on the delete button this way you can delete any section you want how simple it is so it will take your few minutes or few hours to understand the element or page builder this is pretty straightforward plugin just drag and drop any item into your web page and you can design unique style of your web page for your travel and tour website now let's look at the footer area in the footer area you can see we have the copyright section which you cannot change from here because the footer area is not designed with the element or plugin only the middle area is designed with the element or plugin okay guys all right and of course the header section is not included in this element or page builder as well now let's look at how to change the header section and the footer section let's close the element or page builder but before that if you make any changes click on update and update your things and then click on this burger menu icon and then click on the exit button to exit out now go to the dashboard now visit your site have your mouse over here click on visit site i'm gonna close this tab so now let's look at how you can change the header section and the footer section to do it simply click on the customize button and here you will see we have different types of settings that you can change first of all you can see we have the site identity if you open that you can see we have the logo you can add a logo if you want right now there is no logo only the site title you can change it from here for example i'm going to type goa the site title will be updated so i'm going to undo that so here you can change the logo you can change the site title if you want you can add the tagline if you want let's go back we have the general site settings inside here you can add the favicon you can add your favicon icon which is right here you can see let's upload the favicon icon this is the recommended size of your icon go ahead upload for example this facebook icon click select and then click on skip cropping and there you go you can see we change the favicon as well click on publish let's come back here and we have the page layout full width and sidebar absolutely fine social links if you want to show your social links in the footer you can check this option as well come back here to top button enable this and see what is, what is the two top buttons don't see any sort of changes so i'm gonna uncheck it let's come back here come back here and now let's look at how to change the menu let's go to menu and we have two types of menu we have the main menu and we have the my account menu and there is a locations of the menu you can see we have the only two locations social menu and the main menu 
Let's come back here. In the main menu, you can see we have the property listing, which is right here. Under this, we have the listing, listing grid, listing grid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have the single property. If you want to know how to create this drop down menu, pretty simple, guys. Just add any item under any item, and this drop down menu will be created. For example, this property listing is right here. You can see under this, you can see we have this type of grid listing and listing grid and so on and so forth so that's why you will see this type of drop down menu if you want to add any item into this menu click on the add item button click on the item that you want to add for example let's go to maybe post let's add this post and you will see this post right here maybe let's <coughs> drag and drop this post over here publish click on refresh and you can see the post is right here now it's messed up just because of the text is so long let's come back here menu main menu and we'll remove this expand that and remove this let's add new item let's add this one paypal and you will see the paypal right here it's not updating right away click on publish refresh the page and you can see the paypal item has been added go to menus and main and then here you can see the paypal if you want to create a drop down menu just drag and drop this paypal under the blog and you will see the drop down menu inside the blog menu publish and click on refresh and there you go you can see we just created the drop down menu so in the similar way you can create the drop down menu if you want to add, remove any item from this menu all you have to do just go to menu main select the item and remove and that item will be removed if you want to remove the single property select the item scroll down click remove and that item will be removed so right now the live update is not working maybe some sort of technical issue but in your case live update will work properly let's click on publish and refresh the page and you will see the single property will be removed there you go so now let's look at how you can change the footer section let's go to the footer you can change your copyright text from here this copyright text so if you want to change this menu you can always go to widgets let's refresh it let's publish this one first and refresh the page let's go to widgets and somehow i don't see the widgets over here just because my internet problem or maybe some sort of technical issue because i'm using the local website but in your case you will see the widgets area over here you will see the footer widget and from there you will be able to change these uh, footer widgets from this section right here okay so play around with these customization settings guys and of course i have already created a separate video for you guys how to customize any sort of literally any sort of wordpress website just go ahead watch that video and uh, learn how to customize a wordpress website once you watch that video you will be able to customize it to any website guys so i don't want to waste your time to show you the things which is i've already shown you guys i always prefer to I teach you new things with a new video so that's why i bring a new videos to you with a new topic as always so that's the end of this video guys i hope you learned something from today's video if so don't forget to hit the like button and that would be appreciated guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one thank you so much for watching this video till then i'll catch you guys next time